Um, so we're heading to California and here we are with Ted. We're all praying that he does a good job. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> Ted, you gonna be good? Tell the viewers we're gonna be a good boy. We're gonna be a good boy. So Teddy missed Michaela, but Michaela didn't miss him. <laughs> but she's letting him sit on her lap, so that's cool. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Frank, is that your friend? <gasps> Teddy, where are we? Where are we? Is this an old house? <gasps> Do you want to see your brother? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, he's happy. That's so cute. Hi guys. So we've been here now for a few hours and you know, here's Ted. Loving life in California. He has not seen my father yet. I'm making Michaela cut some foils for me. And we're gonna color her hair. And let's do a house tour because the viewers don't know. So here's my living room. Front door. Mom. Here's my room, but it's like not really my room. I don't even know what's going on. Like, yes. It used to be all cute. Now it's just kind of like a whatever room. But this is where I sleep. Ted's being a little clingy boy. And then let me show you guys the kitchen. There's the stairs. Here's our kitchen. Abby's gonna be sad when she watches this because she misses our house. And there's Michaela. Cutting foils. Cutting foils. Ted. Ted. <gasps> is that Zach? Hi, Slappy. Zachy. Zach, here. <laughs> Ducky, say hi, Teddy. Let me see the Teddy. Let's just look at this hair over here. I actually brushed it, okay? Hi! Danny's making a reappearance. <laughs> She's making a reappearance back on the vlog. I had a nice little relaxing day at home with my Ted. He's a little confused about his life, but it's cool. Um, my dad hasn't gotten here yet, but that's gonna be the cutest thing when he sees my dad because he loves my dad and grandpa um, But yeah, miss you guys Just got off work. I look like Albert Einstein a little bit um, I don't know what to vlog so Mo you're probably just gonna end up cutting this out <laughs> um, I don't know what the question of the day is gonna be but what do you guys do when you get off of work? That's my question. Maybe it's gonna change, who knows? I, for one, I work at five in the morning because I work at a restaurant, like a cafe, like a little bistro thing. I don't really know what it is. It's called Big City. Um, so when I get, when we get big on YouTube, come see me. We'll be meeting greets there, just kidding. <laughs> but we, uh, so work at five and so when I come home, it's like I have the whole day because I just worked like a seven hour shift at like five to like one, I guess. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, like eight hour shift, I guess. Like whatever, if I get off at 12.30, whatever. Anyways, so I like get off and I'm like, yeah, I have the whole day. But then I end up being freaking like exhausted, but then I have to get stuff done still. So I'm like here. I just like got off the phone with my brother. He's really great. He's doing well. He's got the cutest little boys. And now I'm just sitting in our love sack. And the house is very lonely because Mo and Teddy are both gone. And Abby's at work and I'm just here by myself. So I think I'm gonna take a 20 minute nap and then get up, do some laundry, work on my project. And yeah, Mo's probably having the best time of her life doing 20,000 girls hairs for prom and all of that stuff. And we'll see what Abigail's doing. Who knows, I bet she's reading her Bible like a good person. And I'm gonna do that after I take a nap because I'm gonna work on my preaching project because I preach to my intern class and some of our staff and pastors tomorrow. It's the last day of my class 
I've never been in training camp. It's so sad and so weird, but I'm so excited to preach. I'm so nervous. Stay tuned to see how it goes. If I am a nervous wreck or if I do very well. Let's hope the, the latter. <laughs>